Hey, what's up, soul family? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. And I'm doing the daggone thing today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. My gosh, guys, it's legit almost your time, Aries. How fun is that? Are you super excited? <laughs> I'm just playing around. Anyway, hi, my name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. I'm doing it for you today, Aries. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a quick love read for you. However, I'm going to I'm going to switch things up today just because I'm in the mood to be trying different, different things. I have a little note right here. So if you see me looking, um, that's because that's what I want to to focus on. OK, so um, we're going to take a look at we're going to take more of a look at your person's energy. OK, um, I've been doing like your energy and your person's energy. However, whatever's coming through for you guys that you need to know about you or maybe how you're feeling or something like that. I will definitely talk about that, okay? Um, this is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the Cross Watcher. If nothing resonates, check uh, your other placements. If nothing resonates here in your Sun sign. And if those don't resonate, feel free to check out the older readings. Down in the description box is where you guys can follow me on other social media. It's also where you can find... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, D uh, donating to my channel. I wanted to say like two things at the exact same time, donating to my channel, number one, and where you can find a lot of the cards I use to purchase those, number two. And last but not least, guys, if any of this does resonate for you at all, Aries, please definitely show your girl some love, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the good stuff. All right, Aries, so let's get into it. We're going to take a look at the overall energy, which is why we really came here to this reading, right? So let's take a look at the overall energy for your person, Aries. Let's take a look at Aries person and their energy. And um, give me some feedback, guys. Let me know if you like the reading this way. If not, I'll go back to the way I used to do it. Okay. Your person is making some big decision here, all right, with the two of wands. This person's got a direction, a decision that needs to be made on their mind, okay? Let's talk about the energy connection between the two of you, which is crazy because I just saw the two, um, <clears throat> the lovers, okay, the two lovers. So what's the energy between Aries and this person, please? What's the energy between the two of them? What's the connection? <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, you guys are holding on to each other. You're not letting go of each other, right? Some of you uh, might be in a situation where you're guarded with each other too. Let's talk about how your person feels, what they're really thinking and feeling deep, deep down, okay? What is this person that Aries is dealing with? What are they thinking deep, deep down? What are they thinking and feeling that they're not telling Aries? This person is back and forth, okay? This person is back and forth. They know that they need to make a decision overall, but they're going back and forth. This person is having a hard time, I feel like, letting go of you. Um, they want to hold on to you, and we'll see if we can find out what's really going on, okay? Um, let's see, what is any energy that they're hiding? What are they hiding? What are they not talking to Aries about, please? What is this person that Aries is dealing with in a romantic partnership? What are they hiding from Aries? They got a lot to say. Okay, Queen of Swords. They might be hiding that they want to uh, cut you off, break up with you, divorce you. Okay. Let's talk about the challenge, please. Let's talk about the challenge for Aries person. What's challenging this person right now? Okay. What's challenging Aries person? Oh, I got like four cards. I got my mic, guys. I got my new mic. All right, so we're all set. <laughs> What's the challenge for Aries person? <clears throat> Given and taking, okay? So six of pentacles. This person could be giving to two people, but it feels like balance for me, guys. I'm not going to lie. There could be two people in some of your situations, but I feel like it's an, an equal give and take. So your person may feel like maybe they are putting in a lot and they're not getting anything in return. Maybe they feel 
uh, you've got somebody, maybe they have somebody themselves, there's an imbalance in the connection somehow and this person and it shows because we have this saying in coaching, right? I'm also a life coach. I'm not, I don't just do tarot and stuff like that, but we have a saying in coaching that how you do one thing is exactly how you do everything in your life. It's just that you tend to not see you doing those things. You don't see yourself. You have a hard time seeing yourself. So you can't see when you're being indecisive, when you're going back and forth, that, that kind of thing, right? You, you may tend to make big decisions really, you know, up front or whatever, but all the little things. So there's a pattern here about balance and indecision um, and knowing something with the Queen of Swords and needing to do it and probably not really doing it, okay? They're hiding that from you. They're hiding some sort of information. Um, there's some type of imbalance here, okay? Now talk to me about the potential outcome. And this could be flexible, guys, okay? This is, this is whatever you choose. This is just a potential outcome between Aries and this person. What's the potential outcome between Aries and this person? What's the potential outcome? <clears throat> Hangman and the Seven of Wands. It's quite possible that your person, they're feeling very confused right now. I got to let you know, okay? Especially about long term. Um, this person could be waiting a long time for you, Aries, or waiting a long time for a situation they could be in to end here with the world fixed energy. So you could be dealing, we have cancer showing up here. This person wants to move forward somehow. And I almost feel like I get this stuck feeling of this person feeling literally like my grip on these cards right here. Okay. So I'm getting somebody here, Taurus, um, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius, okay? They could be one of those. Somebody's very confused about what they want to do with the long term, and they could have been waiting a long time for some sort of cycle to complete itself here, okay? Because this person is feeling very out of balance. I'll talk about the potential outcome a little bit more, all right? And a, yes, I do have coffee. Excuse me while I take my sip. All right. So let's clarify, okay, because the overall energy is your person making some sort of decision. Let's see what the decision's about, okay, fam? Because I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you, Iris. All right. What's this decision about, okay? What's this decision about that Aries person is making? Why is the two of wands the overall energy? What's, what's got this person this way? Why is this two of wands here? Clarify the two of wands. <clears throat> two of cups in reverse. I don't think this person knows how they feel anymore. Okay. Yep. The relationship is in balance. They might feel that, you know, either they're codependent or there's a codependency tendency going on in the relationship. There's been some sort of misunderstanding. You guys are not very compatible. This person may be falling out of love with you. Okay. They don't know how they feel right now. This person needs to make a decision because I think deep down, um, this person is, is feeling like this is a mismatch somehow. Okay. Things are not working the way they want it to. Why else do we have this two of wands? What else is here, please? Yeah. Eight of pentacles. Shit is not working out. Okay. And there's something that somebody's not learning here. And this is creating a huge imbalance in the connection with your person, Aries. I don't know if that's just them. I don't know if that's you. This person could have money issues as well. There's a lack of like skill when it comes to emotional uh, compatibility or how, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, sorry guys. <clears throat> um, emotional maturity, the capacity, right? Uh, it's just, it's, it's a repeat. There's a repeating cycle happening here. It's like somebody's not learning something and it just keeps repeating itself, right? That, you know, like maybe your person keeps doing something over and over again, or you keep repeating a pattern or a cycle with this person. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Let's talk about the energy of the connection between the two of you. It's the four of pentacles. So let's clarify this four of pentacles. What's going on between Aries and their person energetically? 
What's going on with Aries and their person energetically, please? Why is this four of pentacles here? There we go. Yeah, the fucking devil in reverse, dude. Wow. Okay. This is about letting go of something, okay? There's a need to detach. There's a need to uh, let go. I, I feel like it because the devil, the de the devil, the devil in the upright is somebody who um, has all of these issues. And I feel like with both of you, there are some sort of detaching or maybe, um, possession or owning each other or some, something strange like that. There's this codependency, right? And it's like, maybe both of you know, you need to let go, but nobody's letting go here. Okay. This is releasing toxic energy. So one person could have brought it. Both of y'all could have brought it. There's a need to release toxic energy, but you guys are both holding on to something. Somebody's holding on to something or you're holding on to something. Okay, what else? Why else do we have this four of pentacles? Somebody could be holding on to a, a, another toxic relationship. If there's somebody who's in another connection, whether it's you or them, hey, I don't know, guys. I can't always read solid energy. Somebody needs to let go of something and they know it. It's there. They are aware of it. Okay. Um, maybe it's your person and maybe it's hindering this connection, right? I don't know. What's the four of pentacles? Clarify the four of pentacles as the energy between the two. Clarify the four of pentacles. Seven of Swords, somebody's been cheating. There's a lot of lying, deception, cheating. Somebody's got to let go of this, okay? But somebody's hanging on to it at the same time. <laughs> what? <laughs> if this is your person, this is a crazy person, okay? I don't give a shit who this is. This is a crazy person. How can you know you need to stop doing it and continue to do it, right? Like, what the fuck? Are you dumb? I don't know. Anyway, all I'm going to say is this, is somebody's scheming there. I think somebody's, I get that there's a possibility somebody's maybe pretending that like they're not toxic, but actually this person is lying and getting away with things, doing, doing deception. Okay. They're doing deception. Okay. Sneaking around. Somebody's definitely sneaking around. They're holding on to something they know they need to let go of. Okay. Take it however it resonates. Now, Let's talk about how your person feels. Wow, okay, so I just had a three of swords. I'm gonna pull it. How does the person feel with this two of pentacles, please? How is Aries person feeling? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> this person could feel um, very... I feel they're heartbroken. They're, they're feeling emotionally immature or they're feeling that from the connection. They're back and forth. I, I think like Aries, either this person hurt you or you hurt this person, Aries. And it's like there's an emotional immaturity that's happening and this person is going back and forth. Okay. Um, they may not want to apologize about something or they're just being really self-centered over their own hurts. Okay. Somebody could be really self-centered and only focusing on their own hurts. They're going back and forth because they are hurt by you, according to them. Okay. Why else do we have this two of pentacles? I feel like I need more on this. Why else is this person feeling two of pentacles? Clarify the two of pentacles, please clarify two of pentacles yeah this person has a lot of regret regret they're grieving loss they feel sad they're sorry um they're having a hard time there's something about the past that this person is feeling heartbroken about or grieving okay maybe they hurt you in the past maybe you hurt them or they're going through you know they're going back and forth about situations how you hurt this person this person is I feel like they're like one foot in the door, one foot out the door, but they hang on to you because it's almost like they're addicted to you knowing that they need to let go, but they don't. 
you know, I feel codependency here really strong. And this person is really questioning how they feel. Okay. So let's talk about the hidden energy being queen of swords. Why can I not talk today? Jeez Louise. Why is the queen of swords the hidden energy for this person? Knight of cups. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Why is the queen of swords the hidden energy? Oh, Lord. No, we're not doing that today. Why is the Queen of Swords the hidden energy? I think this person... <clears throat> this person loves you. I'm going to say that, Aries. This person loves you. For this person, the right thing is making a decision, right? They're, this person is between their head and their heart. The foundation of the relationship is shaky at best. Okay. So I, I feel like this person is really going back and forth. Like, can I really do this? Do I really want to do this? The foundation of this is shaky. My heart is like Knight of Cups. I want to marry this person. I want to ask them to marry me. But my head is like, no, cut this off. Okay. There's definitely some sort of deception here. This person may have a hard time seeing how you're going to create stability because there's a lot of imbalance that's happening here. It's like work that is not truly being done in the relationship, but this is also spiritual too, because the two of cups here, like I showed you guys before, this is bad. This is not good, right? This is a person not willing to do their work. Okay, their inner work, a person who's not, I feel like, willing to really face themselves, okay? Um, you know, a personal, a personal problem, a person at emotional odds with themselves is a person at emotional odds with other people too. And if your person has another thing that they're hanging on to, whether that be emotional, spiritual, a whole ass other person, family, place thing, whatever... You cannot move forward in that energy. You're going to be emotionally conflicted. There's a lack. There's somebody's being sloppy out here, right? They're being sloppy with their themselves and with two people here and their decision-making process, okay? So the challenge, six of pentacles. Why is that here? Well, we have that. All righty then. All right, why is the six of pentacles here, please, as the challenge? Yeah, there's something that needs to be let go of here, okay? There's a lot of negative energy or bad juju with the death card. Um, let me say, guys, you could be dealing with somebody who is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus uh, in their sun, moon, rising. Could be dealing, or, or their Venus. Could be dealing with uh, a Scorpio. Could be dealing with um, maybe another fire sign. But the challenge is, is communicating um, and having the courage, okay? There's a fear of change here. Somebody's refusing to let go of maybe another person. I'm not going to lie, guys. I feel strongly that there's somebody else here. Okay, so please take it as it resonates. It could be them. It could be you. But I'm really doing this as your person. Um but there's something that this person, they, they know they want to change something or they need to change something and they're not doing it. It has to do with balance. It has to do with being fair and with giving to the connection as well. Your person may be very guarded right now because the potential outcome is this person with the seven of wands fighting for the connection, being very guarded. It's also the, it's also Pisces, the hangman. Um, this person trying to see things from another perspective is the possible outcome and fighting for this connection, okay? Why do we have the hangman and the seven of wands here? So you're dealing with somebody who doesn't really know if they want to keep giving to this connection or not, guys, okay? And I don't know the drama, but there's definitely something going on here with that seven of swords. Yeah, the fool. This person does want a new beginning. They want a fresh start. They want the... the they want to create a new start, a new beginning with you. This is the potential, right? Aries energy right there. But, you know, a lot of things need to be balanced out and eliminated in this connection. And you guys are going to have to figure out how and what, right? 
So let's go to these love oracles for a hot second. See what's up. Oh, how'd that get flipped around? What did I do here? Lot of mercy. All right. I always do ridiculous things. All right, Aries. All right. What do we have here for Aries regarding this connection, please? What do we have here for Aries? Yeah, somebody is heartbroken. Very, very sad. Their separation, loss, a breakup. Maybe you guys are separated right now. Grieving, mourning, anything could be causing the heartbreak there. But there's some sort of heartbreak that is creating some of this um, confusion or tension in the connection. Okay. And then we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. I think you guys do love each other very much here. Okay. I think it's just at this point, you guys need to figure out what you're doing, all right? Because there's definitely energies that need to be released here, all right, guys? And somebody is having a hard time. Things just keep repeating itself, and somebody knows. They just don't know how to stop repeating it. And that's the thing, you know, when we repeat things, they become habits, and they, they happen subconsciously so that you can't even really catch it, right? It's hard to, like, catch it because, like I said, you can't see you, right? All right, what else for Aries, please? Can I have a card for Aries regarding this spread? Aries, please. There it is. Religious factors, it is safe for you to love. Okay, so there could be some spiritual or religious differences between the two of you that are, um, or in like your upbringing spiritually that are different between you two. It's influencing the relationship. And we have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Guys, maybe you're being a little bit closed off. Okay, and this person feels that or maybe they are being a little bit closed off, right? But it's safe, like it's safe for you to love Aries. Alrighty, and I'm gonna tell you how this person feels real quick. I'm gonna do these little hidden truth oracle jobbies for you. Get like two or three of these cards. How does this person really feel right now? How are they feeling right now about Aries, please? How are they feeling? It was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, so this person blamed you for something that was their their fault. I left when I saw you with someone. Okay, what else do we have here from Aries person to Aries? What do they want to say, please? What do they want to say to Aries? We both know I'm not the one for you. Okay, so this person is feeling like they're not for you. Okay, I don't know what's up with this person here, Aries. What else? One more message. Oh, there's like five. I'm going to take them. I want to be more than friends. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. And I love you unconditionally. Okay. So your person really does love you. I kind of feel like this person's feeling guilty or something. Feeling sad for themselves or whatever. Maybe they feel like... I don't know, like you don't choose them or they're not choosing you. I don't know. Something is weird and off balance here. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of pain. This person, maybe they feel unemotionally available, like they're not available emotionally or they feel that in reverse. I don't know, guys, you know, you, you really know what that is. So please take it as it resonates. But this person really does love you unconditionally. All right, Aries. And I think that's part of the main message. They're just having a hard time making a, a decision here. All right, so that's what I got for you. Thank you so much, guys. If any of this did resonate, if you did like this reading, if you like the layout of it and um, how clear things come through, please holler at your girl. Let me know, all right? I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. See you soon. Bye.